expressing is good only when absolutely need to do express. There's a need, need to express. And expressing is not necessary when there's no need to express. Because if something is self-clearing, expression is, is a way of clearing it, kind of outward. But if, something's way, if there is some way of clearing by itself, then the expression does not have so much role in the negative emotions. Because it's sometimes it's like, a, but you, you don't know for sure your husband is ready to listen to it either. Right? And maybe he's open, he's open, he's ready to listen, that's fine. But maybe if there is a, let's say this way, you're feeling a little anger toward your husband, and, uh, and somehow you are, maybe, for, let's uh, give a few examples. Maybe one example it will be, uh, you, you, you are, you're a little angry at your husband, but you are so open and so view in, in the view, it dissolves. Maybe you have, there might be, few thousand of those angers in the past, you never knew, but they were there, they were gone. So do you want to look back and try to find them in 2015, one anger, 2014, one anger, put them all together, I wanted to express to my husband on the, his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, just being a little bit playful. So, so, so there's no necessary to do that. If there's something were there and something is gone, it's, it's, just leave it as it is. But, if something was there, as, as you are saying now, so in meditation you are aware of, I was angry at my husband. Now it's a good thing. So you're trying to work with that, so you're trying to uh, have space, space of awareness more, and see if that anger can uh, dissolve by itself in, you, in your own meditation, right? And in your own meditation, um, if, if it dissolves, and then anger dissolves, what, what, was, what was there after that? There is a little more space, and there, maybe there is a little more love is there. So you feel this love, you feel a little bit more open toward your husband, maybe more open than, than before you went to the meditation, right? So you, not only there was a little bit more open, you discover quality, you feel, you feel love toward him. So you you go out of your meditation, you're getting a little bit excited to see him, right? Why you're a little excited to see him? Because you wanted to express the love. So, uh, what do you think? He would be happy to your expression of love or your expression of anger? Right? He will be happy to see your expression of love more. But that love, it has something that deep, there is a tie with anger. There is some connection, the anger and love, they are uh, how you say, conditionally related to each other. So, so expression, let's say this way. So that would be good, good if it's, I think will be, if you're strong enough, this will be what will be encouraged. If you don't, if you're not that strong, that means, basically means you're sitting in a meditation, <sighs> suddenly you realize I'm angry at husband. It seems nice. But there's something, you know. Oh, I realize it's not only yesterday, it's, it's a pattern. <laughs> For the last 30 years. <laughs> Maybe even previous life, I don't know. Anger is boiling. There's no space. There's no container. There's no awareness. There's a disconnectedness. So, not expressing is not an option here. Not expressing is not an option. The question is, what is the best way? At least, like like you go to the operation. Doctor says operation, no option, not to do it. The question of how we do it. So, how we do it? There's a risk involved. How we do it? We got to do it, risk involved, but no option not to do it. So, same thing. Expressing to him is not option, not, not like a dissolving it, feeling love, and then going, you know what, I was angry at you, I feel so much love, and I'm expressing love. That's not an option, that's the, that's the luxury. Now, you are, 
fill in a little more space. So it's just a question about, can I leave it as is? Nine breathing, salong, five warrior seats over, four, four or five fold feet teaching of Dawa Jansen, see which works. <laughs> uh, just a little walk, stretch, I don't know, whatever works, right? So just kind of a little more, create a little more space. <sighs> little nap, maybe good. And then when you feel a little bit more space, then you feel, okay, I need to say something. What is the best way to say? Okay, maybe one thing, I don't want to just talk in the wrong time. When, what is the wrong time of your husband? Probably you know. Right time. I wanted to minimize it. I don't want to make it very long. I wanted to make it very clear. Few words. But I wanted it to come out from my heart rather than Instead of saying, I hate you what you do, say, I feel uncomfortable when you do that. That's the big differences. I choose my words differently. It's not about him. It's about me, how I feel. It's not about criticism to him. It's about my weakness, how I feel that he respects me when he hears me my feeling. You have a little, you, you're in, conceptually, you're, you, you feel quite a bit of options, but you don't feel you have an option not to talk. You, the need is there to express. In that case, it's important to express. That's what I mean. Important to express means those situations, important to express and, and trying to do your best. But that's not the only option. There is an option not to express also. Self-liberation, it's expression of self. Ego does not need to express. Each, each, each cell, each uh, matter, each organism, uh, every every manifestation of the nature, everything has a power to self-liberate by itself. When they have the reason to come to exist, they have a power to dissolve, deconstruct and dissolve by themselves without anybody's help. They is there. So every emotion has its power to go by itself if you feel space. Generally, it's difficult to generalize, but if I generalize, <laughs> I would shut up my mouth. Because if I don't, if I really don't know what I want, I'm saying, and I don't, lack of clarity, I will mess up more than I will do anything good. But if I have a power to not to say, I will remain silent. I mean, that's what in the law they said, you have a right to remain silent. <laughs> that's a, there's a wisdom. If you say something, that will be your problem. So I would listen to that, the right that we have to remain able to remain silent. I would remain silent. And, um, and silent will be better than what anything I would say in that moment. Most likely, it will be better. More chances are better chances that I will be uh, more protected not to say things. And then uh, they will, if I did not learn something in that moment, but. The similar situation in the future, I will learn a little bit more. Maybe I, I will reflect that same thing in, in my life. And if next time the similar situation happens, maybe then I don't, I don't need to remain silent. I have some wisdom of that past experiences. Then maybe I can say something. Say something short, minimum, clear, to the point. Not externalize, more internalize. Not it's about somebody, it's about my feeling, me. There's a big difference, right? I mean, we always do, seems, it seems like um, many relationship, it seems like one thing we messes up is we judge other people instead of saying what you feel. But what you feel, I think we need to learn what people feel. Right? I think it's very, really important that you have to respect what you feel, you have to learn to respect what other people feel, but the feelings are very important. But judgment is not important. Criticism is not important. They're not asking, what do you think about me? They, if they're asking what do you think about me, and you say, are you really open, open, open to hear my opinion about you? <laughs> Yes, you're horrible. <laughs> well, 
They are not asking, and if they are asking, I'm not sure they're ready to hear. But nobody's asking. Nobody's asking to judge me. It's just doing extra job, messing up more. But if you feel, feel, I mean, sometimes you see people in the media and things like that. I'm, I'm always surprised that there are, there are these negative people out there constantly criticizing everybody and everything. And it just always amazes me how much the time that spent. And for me, time is very, very valuable, very sacred. What every, every single moment, what you do out of your time, it's very important. And when they spend those time doing those things, it's like really like, wow, wow. That's really, wow. We don't have to do that, you know. We, but, but, but when you feel something, and, and anybody is more receptive, you know, I always more, I feel very receptive if somebody says, if I did something, it would hurt them. I'm very receptive of that. And, and of course, I wanted to be receptive of that. I don't want to hurt anybody. But if they are criticizing me, that's another sort of story. I don't take that. I, I will try to work with view, <laughs> with meditation and conduct, but um, I, I, I can go back also. Because they are coming from wrong place. But maybe I go back, but not from trying to not wrong place. At least, if it's possible, not go back from wrong place, but if it's possible, at least show what they're doing. 